think that's working. Well, maybe I have to zoom out a little bit. Oh, well, maybe not. There we go. All right, so this is the typing sample video of this Olympia SG-1, made in 1960. Where's my backing sheet? Oh, there it is. Shows you how prepped I am for these videos. Beautiful piece of mid-century engineering. Absolutely a feast to type on. I love these machines. Like, just as just for starters, let me show you this hand crank system. <laughs> All right, so I'm just I'm I'll do a bit of a typing review of this typewriter, and it will show the Congress Elite typeface that this machine is fitted with, which is relatively common um, for these Olympias. I seem to uh, uh, come across quite a few of these. I've also got a Techno font. I've had italic fonts. As far as uh, unusual typefaces go, uh, Olympia seems to definitely be a brand that uh, sport them often. Anyways, here goes nothing. Actually, I'll give you a better close-up of that because we are talking about a bit of a different font. So here you have it. I mean, this is that Congress Elite typeface. I think it's uh, uh, 12 CPI, so uh, not very special in size, but um, a bit more 
book style in simple terms. But yeah, there it is. Beautiful machine. I love it. Types butter smooth and even though it is a honking near 40 pound machine, it is quite light to use and uh, even those inexperienced or not used to the striking force of a typewriter, this is a good entry model. And uh, I actually wrote about, you know, my, my fascination that so many functions are driven purely by the energy of one's fingers and a single clock spring installed in the back. I've done this, uh, I've, have, I've had this interest in typewriters for many years and it still fascinates me the way these are designed. Anyways, thank you for watching.